，黎明时刻，一排又一排的梅卡瓦坦克集结在以色列和加沙边境。从美国卫星影像公司最新公布的照片上可以看到，距离加萨北部边境大约六公里处出现大量军车。看来以色列已经为大举入侵加萨走廊做好准备。根据《日经亚洲》杂志分析，大概有四百辆以色列国防军的坦克和各式装甲车。不过，国际媒体最关心的还是这些昵称是“泰迪熊”的 D 九 R 装甲推土机。An armored bulldozer capable of detonating IEDs and hidden landmines. The D9 safely disarms these threats, allowing our forces to operate in a more precise and accurate way to ensure the safety of all those involved. 除了武器陆续到位，以军士兵的训练也不敢马虎。A practice push forward. These soldiers could be in the first wave of an expected Israeli ground assault on Gaza. They're from the Givati Brigade. It combines tanks, troops, and engineers with the ability to defuse bombs. This is the most important job for us. We're fighting for our country, and all of us need to take a big part of it. 以色列国防军更罕见让英国天空新闻记者进到他们的巷战训练场。This place is designed to look like a Palestinian city. You can see here the graffiti on the wall. Israeli troops are training here. They know they need to train how they'll have to fight if and when the order comes in to move to Gaza. 事实上，以色列早在十八年前就已经计划对抗加沙。把过去进入加萨作战的经验化成实际的训练场。以色列在南部打造了这座占地约二十四万平方公尺、耗资大约台币十八亿的迷你加萨，作为城市战争训练中心。We built this so that our soldiers could be trained at the highest level possible. So when the day would come, we would need to do something like this. We would be ready. We didn't know a week ago. That this would immediately go into action and be a very real training ground with possibly a very real purpose. 只是以军想要入侵加萨，消灭哈马斯，也不是那么容易的一件事。他们面临最棘手的问题就是哈马斯全长五百公里的神秘地道。What's also so troubling is as incredible as Israeli anti-detection systems are for these tunnels, which they do have, it's really hard. Hamas has gotten smarter over the years about their ability to get in and destroy these tunnels. So you see how how fortified it is. 地道出入口可能藏在一般民宅当中，让外人难以辨识。隧道网络更是四通八达。军事专家分析，以军想要拿下甚至摧毁格外。When you go in as an assaulting force into a tunnel, you are at a huge disadvantage because the defenders, in this case Hamas, know where they want to be, set up positions, can fire on you. We've had training events where five or six people can hold off hundreds of attackers inside of a tunnel or inside of a cave complex. 军事专家还说，在地底下作战，一切都得靠自己，不能期待有后勤支援。You can't put many soldiers in here to attack, and when you do, they are stuck in there. There's only one way in and one way out, and you can't resupply them. So you have to be carrying your ammunition and all your equipment on your back when you go into here. Hamas have the upper hand underground. Israel has um, the upper hand from the air, but um, boots on the ground means fighting under the ground, and it's not going to be easy. 如今连天宫也不作美，加萨下起阵阵细雨。The factor of rain, in fact, this morning in Gaza it did rain, and that makes it a little bit more difficult for armored vehicles to come into a particular area. Weather plays a huge factor in military operations, and the Israelis may be looking at that, waiting perhaps for things to dry out. 即便如此，以色列依旧没有停火的意思。This will be a long war. The price will be high. But we are going to win. 美国则持续展现决心的支持。美国国务卿布里肯一周内第二次到以色列，还证实美国总统拜登即将在周三抵达台拉维夫，并将和以色列总理纳坦雅胡会晤，共同商讨要怎么让这次加萨冲突和平落幕。TVB 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVB 新闻网 APP。